Okay, the first topic is services for objects. So almost all objects in SAP have this tool, the services for objects button. So you basically can be a file that you attach to that or a link to a, like a website or a link to a SharePoint file or whatever, uh, a hyperlink. Could be a hyperlink directly to like a, a network drive as long as it's not a map letter, like a personal map drive like I warned you about. Now the, the issue with this was we talked about is that if you are doing a file, if you're connecting to a file, it actually copies it in, from the uh, your browser and copies it into SAP. Whether it goes into SAP with the actual application SAP or goes into a document server if you're configured properly. So here's some of the issues that people run across using services for objects. So one issue is that if you do use this tool to attach, say, to a task list, it doesn't copy over to the work order. So I would not use that tool. You're supposed to use the proper DMS to attach, like job job aids and so on. Another problem is um, if it's not configured properly, like I mentioned, that the one it actually if you use the um, attachment option in services for objects, it copies the files into SAP. And if it's not configured right, it goes into the actual server where SAP lives and the IT folks will not be happy. The other thing is that anything you do with services for objects, those files are not searchable. And the other thing, it's a copy of the file or a link to the file, but if you do it as an attachment, it's a copy of the original. So if you modify the original, let's say on the network, um, it won't modify it in SAP. So that's one of the disadvantages of it. So if you are going to use links, whether it's in um, services for objects, and we'll see later in DMS, you can also do links. You have to make sure that the links are good. Like, can you spot the danger? When you're looking at a, uh, say in this case, through Internet Explorer, you're looking at a, a file through a browser, you see that the drive letter shows up here in the, in the uh, path. C means your, your personal hard drive. And if it says something like M, say a, a map drive, like I mentioned, if it's a personal map drive that you made, that you created, then it, it won't work for anyone else except you, unless they happen to map to the same letter. So you have to be careful with that. So that kind of link is, uh, is not a good link to use in a, for any attachment type links. So when you're looking at a file, say like in uh, Microsoft Word, you can have the, uh, the software display the um, full path. And this is a really good path. So you say slash slash, that's a dynamic path. So that will be a good link that's on the network in that directory. Now it won't be a good link if the person doesn't have read access to that location, of course. So that's another issue people get into. So anyway, this can activate that uh, in Word or whatever Excel, you can use that functionality. So here's a screenshot of a work order. So when you want to attach something using services for objects, it's the icon in the top left corner there. It looks like a, a cartoon bubble. So when you click that, because you're on a work order, it'll give you a pop-up because you may want to attach the notification. So there's two objects attached to each other already, the notification and the work order. So you simply double click on the object you want to attach to and it'll bring up the uh, next screen. The next screen basically is like the drop down menu and uh, you pick the blank sheet of paper to create an attachment or link. And uh, some companies tell their folks don't use create attachment because they're not configured properly to have the document go into a document server. So they uh, want you to do it only with hyperlinks or URLs. So if you choose that option URL, then it gives you another dialog box where you can give the uh, link a name because that's what will show up when people are looking at what's attached to this this object. And then you just paste the, um, the actual address, the link. 
Now you'd paste with control V or you can use the better ways usually is if there's a paperclip icon, you'd better to use that. So once you hit the paste button, paste it, then the green check to get out. So if you want to view or edit a link or attachment to an object, you click on the uh, service for objects button, that same button again with the um, cartoony bubble, and then click on the uh, paperclip icon. Now the paperclip icon, if it's ghosty, like it's grayed out, that means there's no nothing attached, nothing linked to that object. So when you click that, it'll bring up the list of attachments. Yeah, you can have as many as many uh, attachments or sort of links as you want to the same object. So in this example, it's showing a picture of an assembly. If you want to delete it, I prefer to right click and then choose delete. There's also the trash can icon, standard SAP, but uh, I like right click because it gives you all the action choices listed nicely. If you want to view the image, you simply, du simply double click it. Or you can use the eyeglass icon. If you want to attach another one, just hit new.